As part of its celebration of 20 years of association with Winston Cup Racing, R.J. Reynolds used the Winston All-Star Weekend to share part of stock car racing heritage with a new generation of race fans. There are two things you can count on when you bring the pioneers of the sport together. Big smiles and some of the best stories you'll ever hear. Shenanigans? No, Tyne Lung was going to pull shenanigans. Like at Macon, Georgia, before the race start, he handcuffed me to the fence. I mean, and, you're oh yeah, oh yeah. A lot of people remember that. He absolutely handcuffed me to the to the fence, and I couldn't get in the car. And <laughs> finally, some fan come over, had a key, and unlocked me. So, like an idiot, I started running from my car and uh, put my helmet on. My God, I got full of water. Tyne Lung filled my helmet up with water. He filled it. <laughs> oh yeah, then one race at Daytona. So, I don't know if you remember this now. Joe Weatherly stole all the keys. So we used to have keys in our car. And then days. He stole all, all the keys. All the keys. Joe. You're kidding. All the keys. <laughs> and nobody could start their cars. He was the only one. <laughs> Part of the legend's activities included an exhibition race before the Winston. And no matter how long it's been since these guys buckled into a race car, there was a special sparkle in their eyes when they got behind the wheel. For these men, it was a step back in the time. And for the rest of us, it was one of those magical moments in sport. Charlotte Motor Speedway had built a replica of the old Bowman Great Stadium right on the front straightaway. The original track located in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, is where many of these legends got their start. The exhibition race turned out to be no exhibition. Driver after driver tried to move to the front. The years dropped away. For one sweet moment, there's nothing but the race and the chance to beat their peers. Junior Johnson gets a little pushy, and Junior Johnson's crew chief, Tim Brewer, loves it. Tim Flock and Little Bud Moore, number 29, renew acquaintances. Bill Castles, he takes a 360 degree look at Charlotte. Then it's Flock and Junior Johnson going at it again. and tries to make it three abreast on a two-lane track. Childress loses it and collects Richard Brooks. his familiar Holly Farms yellow car at the front, but a menacing Elmo Langley beats and batters his way to challenge Kale for the lead. And finally, on the last corner, Langley gives Kale one last nudge and beats the three-time champion of the line to win the race of legends. Langley visits Victory Lane in a moment he'll never forget as all the legends share the podium with him. And old Alma Langley won't be the only one here who remembers this day. It's 